Hey guys and welcome to my channel Julep's Garden. I live in North Carolina zone 8A. It's the beginning of March and I'm going to go see what Walmart has in stock. Okay, it's official. They started putting the flowers out front. I'm so excited to see this coming at grocery stores. So this is the Dianthus. This is the really nice plant for this cool spring weather. It can tolerate a light frost. My parents have some of these and they have bloomed almost through the entire spring and then they bloom again in fall. They have a one cubic bag of Miracle Potty Mix for $9.97. Also for $9.97, these hanging baskets with happy yellow violas. They have these singular packs of pansies for $5.97. The really cool thing about pansies and violas is that they're edible. They had a nice variety of little trees that they're selling. This is the Japanese maple Sangokaku variety for $89. And then they had the blood good Japanese maple. This one gets its beautiful deep burgundy red. And the eastern red bud with the classic beautiful happy bright flowers in the spring. This is the Kwanzan flowering cherry. They have the white dogwood. These are really good for the shade also. So the dogwood is native to North Carolina and you see it all around in spring and the flowers are absolutely beautiful. The plum trees were already putting out their beautiful spring flowers and so were the peach trees which they do a pink flower. And all the trees were $29.74 with the exception of the Japanese maples. And they had these little boxwoods for $8.84. These are perfect for doing a hedge. Um, it's a good time to get them in the ground, get them established before the heat of summer hits. Boxwoods usually do okay in shady areas also. And these are singular containers of hyacinths for $1.97. These would be really nice if you're trying to make your own container, combine them with tulips or daffodils. Also have them in white. Okay, so now let's check out Walmart's rose collection and see what roses they have. So they have this brand called True Bloom Roses. And then they have another brand or another variety and this is the Walmart Expert Gardener. This one is $9.97. They have this climbing variety, CL Royal Gold. It says it has large flowers. It's fragrant and a vigorous climber. This is the CL Blaze. It says it's fiery red blooms are born in large clusters. This is the 4th of July. And it looks like they're healthy because they're starting to bud up. This is the CL Golden Showers. This is a free blooming, vigorous climbing rose. This is the Miss All American Beauty. It's a hybrid tea rose. Petal count 50 to 85. This is Soul Desire, a floribunda rose. It grows in clusters. This is the Meredith Hybrid Tea Rose. It says they have large and soft pink petals. It's supposed to be disease resistant with long stems that's good for cut flowers. This one is Miracle on the Hudson. It's a shrub type rose. Petal count 10 to 12. It's powdery mildew resistant. That's really good. This is the Sun Sprite Floribunda. It says it has sweet fragrance and a round bushy habit and it's extremely disease resistant. This one is the Forever Yours and this one says it grows compactly. A good one for a pot and it says it has a good second bloom. This is Le Petit Prince and it's described as a bouquet making factory. That's how vigorously it blooms. This is the Floribunda Marmalade Skies. Morris Utrillo, a hybrid tea rose. And this is Coral Miracle. It's described as a salmon pink color with double blossoms. And this is Ring of Fire, a hybrid tea rose also. And this is back to that brand True Blooms. And so they have just the names on the front. That one's True Darling true passion true perfume okay let's see what else they have it looks like they have a ground cover asiatic jasmine for $2.97 this is a low growing ground cover and it prefers six or more hours of daily sun they also have this bright sedum 
$2.97 and it's a perennial comeback every year. And we have hanging baskets of strawberries for $14.88. Oh, and these look so beautiful. It's nice to see a bright pop of color. This is called a Delosperma for $8.97 and it's also a perennial. Hardy and Stones 5 through 9. And then they have Dianthus for $2.84 and it seems like they come in four pack containers. Dianthus for me have, have been very easy to take care of and they handle this cool weather just fine. And they have the petunias out already. These can be more sensitive to cold, so if you put them out, just make sure you watch your local weather. Oh, and these snapdragons. Oh, these colors are absolutely gorgeous. I love how bright and vibrant they are. Snapdragons do really well in this cool weather, so this would be perfect for a container right now. And snapdragons respond really well to cutting, so some people like to use them as cut flowers since they'll keep blooming more and more the more you cut. Okay, so next up we have herbs. They're finally here. I'd been coming and checking and they hadn't come till now. So we have all sorts of cool weather season veggies, starting with this curly kale. They have a lacinato kale. And everything looks really nice and vibrant. I feel like with Walmart, it's great to grab the plants right when they arrive, since sometimes they don't get the best care if, they're, if they stare at the store for very long. Lettuce. Lettuce is very easy to grow from seed. So personally, I wouldn't pay $5 for lettuce because it's so easy to grow from seed. But if you want a quick start, these do look very nice and healthy. And they have some heirloom cabbage collards. They have regular collard greens. I have some of these. They're looking beautiful. And they have Bonnie's Best Cabbage. They have Flat Dutch Cabbage. I think that's what they use for kimchi. Oh, look how beautiful these are and these would grow quickly right now. This is the Butter Crunch Bib Lettuce. And they do have some tomatoes and peppers out, although I would not recommend buying these yet unless you have like a greenhouse or something. I know in our area we can't put them out till probably mid-April. Um, but we do have some herbs here like cilantro that would do great in the cool weather. Swiss chard. Oh, this is beautiful with the bright colors. I tried that one from seed. Didn't go too well. They have some happy looking celery. All this is about $5.97 and this one seems to be a six pack. They have some Brussels sprouts. Also a six pack. Cauliflower. And then we have this container of tulips. This one is pink and it's $6.88. However, this says perennial, but if you're in my area, we're in North Carolina 8A area, um, the tulip bulb needs at least six weeks of cold. So normally these will not bloom again, just the leaf comes out, but no bloom. And then they have some containers of daffodils. Now daffodils will come back every year here in North Carolina or in the 8A zone. And they have some pre-made containers. These are great to pop into a planter. These are $15.97 and it seems like they have daffodils, tulips, and hyacinths. We have some pretty bright violas. If you have a partly shaded area, violas do a little bit better than pansies in blooming. So as long as they get a couple hours of sun, these will bloom for you. These are some pansies for $5.97. And this is another variety of violas. And violas and pansies are edible. Next we have some shrubs. This is the Pink Ruffles Azalea. This one is good for a part shade location, only three to six hours of sun. And the good thing with azaleas is that they are mostly evergreen. So it's a nice winter interest, agile structure to your garden. And they're 1984. And they do have some organic options for soil. This is for raised beds for 748. Probably better if you have a small project, maybe wouldn't be the most cost efficient if you have a huge raised bed to fill. And let's see what pots they have. Walmart did great last year with their pots. This year, it seems like they haven't brought in maybe all their selection yet, but they do have the terracottas in. And they didn't have them individually priced, and I did try to scan them. 
oh let's see this one was a 12 inch for $14.98 the 8 inch for $6.94 they also have these these are plastic very lightweight I'm um, kind of this nice shape and they have the faux terracotta color also and those I scanned them and the price didn't come up and then I saw these trellises and I thought that these would actually be really beautiful just how they have them here on the picture up against like a brick wall or if you want to grow a clematis on them they actually look really nice and sturdy they have the tomato trellises already $4.47 about $5 okay we have some more good stuff to check out over here seems like we have some more flowers and fruit okay so here it looks like you get one root of a grape for $6.97 they have these beautiful viburnums if you've ever seen something that looks like a hydrangea in the spring blooming it's a viburnum these are gorgeous and this is one root for $6.97 and but they can get up to 12 feet tall so make sure you have space for it and this is for Scythia. You might see for Scythia blooming right around this time in North Carolina. So beautiful. They have some wisteria. Wisteria can be invasive, so just be careful with that one. I know I see it all over the trees taking over here. We have blueberries and blackberries. These are all one root for $6.97. They have this honeysuckle, one root for $6.97. And then they have hydrangeas. This is the PG Pink. And it looks like they're nice and healthy. Look at all these branches starting to bloom. Okay, and we have some more veggies, garlics, asparagus, onions. Um, look at this, 100 bulbs for $3.24. So I really recommend putting these around your raised vegetable beds or just your normal garden and just surround with onions. And they will protect against all the pests because most are repelled by the smell. I thought this was interesting. I couldn't find a price on it, but look, not only does it measure moisture light, but it also measures the pH, and that's really good to know. They also have these elevated garden beds that they had last year. I think they're very cute, $89, and they're made with cedar wood. This is another ground level garden bed that you can reconfigure to however you need, also for $84. Then they have these little containers these would be good if you're just trying to do something small like a patio cherry tomato or some herbs it says that it's self-watering so it should be pretty easy to use they also have like the steel i'm not sure if they're steel or metal it's just a metal raised garden bed i've seen these on instagram this one is 14 inches tall for 109 dollars Okay, let's go check out some of the seeds. I unfortunately can't show you everything that they have, but I have to say they had a comparable selection to Lowe's and Home Depot. So anything that you normally see there, I was able to find at Walmart. Those were some Marigold Eskimo variety. But I did want to show you, which I thought was really cool because I didn't see this at the other store. They had such a variety of nasturtiums. So nasturtiums are edible and they have all sorts of health benefits but they had some really neat varieties i hadn't seen at the other stores and they're actually very quick growing and they like this cool season look at this one it's an alaska variety 32 days to bloom this is the peach melba variety haven't seen this one before and of course they're fully stocked with all the sunflowers. Sunflowers are a great, easy flower to start with. Now I would recommend you get the ones you want earlier than later because they will sell out as the season progresses. Something else that stood out to me that I hadn't seen at the other stores were the variety of like pre-mixed seed collections. So they have different packs for what you might be wanting. For instance, this is a wildflower, bird, and butterfly mixture, 42 days to bloom. Here are some of the flowers that that one contains. They also have a cup flower mixture, 43 days to bloom. And this is the cool colors mixture. And they had a fragrant mixture. I hadn't seen that before. 42 days to bloom. And this is a shade mixture, which you still will need some sun to grow some of these. They have a low grow mixture. 25 days to bloom. 
and they have a perennial mixture so these would come back every year and this is a hummingbird mixture 43 days to bloom okay so let's see some of these bulbs they have a still bees beautiful that purple color they have bleeding hearts they have the canna lilies two roots for 542 this is a beautiful one it's kind of got that dark vibrant foliage they have the big ostrich fern two roots for 542 they have some papavers three roots for 542 some gladiolas in the color espresso and you get 16 bulbs for the same price and this is a peony one root for the same price they have the cinnamon fern and the christmas fern we have caladiums and you get 12 bulbs for 11.47 they also have the sarah burn heart peony and these are three roots for 11.47 okay and the dahlias so this is five bulbs for 1147 which is pretty good i think they have some begonias three bulbs for 542 has anyone been able to grow begonias from a bulb like that i'm really curious about trying it but i haven't done it personally oh and these elephant ears in the dark color are would look beautiful i saw them once with kind of lavender purple impatience all in front and the contrast was absolutely gorgeous we have some more dahlias two bulbs for 542 i love this one the creme de cassis i love that shade of it's like lavender deep purple and they have the dinner plate mix for three bulbs for 542 and look at the colors in this lake tahoe one it's everything from yellow to salmon pink color i love that one another gorgeous one this one is called pacific ocean and then i i always like to come look at these little things i think this one was cute with the little paw print a house is not a home without paw prints isn't that adorable thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate your guys' support please make sure you like and subscribe thank you so much and we'll see you soon